What is up YouTube Pinoy RC Freak over here once again Well, today is a very special day again It's after Christmas Actually right now it's a New Year's Eve or New Year's Day Well, I made this video just to cheer you guys up Because everything is not going out there again so far Well, I'm gonna show you this uh, how big this Canada Dry is. This is one of my favorite drinks, ginger ale. Well, they say it's a senior's drink, but I don't really care, I like it. I like the taste of it, it's ginger. Well, enough talking about this ginger drink. This is a RC channel, so we're gonna talk about RCs, right? I'm pretty sure you guys want to know what RC I'm gonna talk about. Well, I haven't had an RC in a long time. I'm collecting those big chief scale RCs now so it's really hard to come along because they're so expensive. Well, we got something very special for you today. It's very very special that um, not a lot of people has been doing it but who knows, you guys might like it. Well, look at how big this Canada dry can is. It's just a small can, I mean it's a regular can right? Well. This is our surprise today. Kablamo! Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe I got my hands on this vehicle. I mean, I've been wanting this vehicle for so long. I mean, this vehicle is like 2000 bucks. And that's the gas version. I have the low I have the Baja 5T, the Baja 5B and also the Baja 5T Kraken, which is the uh, 29cc motor. But this is something else. This is not a two-wheel drive. This doesn't do any donuts or anything like that. This is a racer vehicle. I mean, I got this vehicle from a friend of mine. I mean, he sold me an ESC before and then it's a faulty ESC, but it doesn't really matter. I fixed it. Well, believe it or not, this guy runs with two 200 amp ESCs. I'm gonna show you later. But this vehicle is really awesome. I mean, for now, let's just view how awesome it is. Like the upgrades in it. Look at those tires. I mean, this is like the tires from motocross vehicles. Look at the, the tooth of those tires. It's like, oh man, unbelievable. I think this vehicle weighs 200, I mean, sorry, uh, about 25 to 30 pounds right now. This dwarf one's the X Max. I'm gonna show you comparisons in the future about this vehicle, about the X Max, the Quayton 8S, the Outcast 8S, the Mojave, the Desert. Uh, the UDR, the fifth scale crawler that we have, and also the the felony and infraction. Oh, sorry, I blew it up over there. I got infraction too. I mean, this Christmas has been good to me. I mean, I love Christmas times because Christmas times the wife usually say no on vehicles, but usually Christmas times is the best vehicles that I ever got. Well, hopefully you guys got a good Christmas too, and then. You know, Happy New Year's too. Me? Oh man, I love Christmas and New Year. This is one of my wife's present to me. I mean, this vehicle is not new. I don't like buying new vehicles because they're all stuck. Let's just enjoy the beauty of this vehicle right now. Alright, so look at this vehicle. Oh man, even though the headlights or the fog lights or whatever you call this, it, it's transform into a metal metal billing or metal grill or whatever you call it it's really awesome I and mean, it's a red finish one of my favorite color colors I mean it's not a perfect vehicle right now but I'm really happy I got this vehicle I will tell you the price of it soon I couldn't really believe it I got this in a good 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 price I wouldn't buy a new vehicle you guys know that I want the old ones because the old ones and used one it's not really good condition or like the bodies all scratch up and all stuff but the vehicle itself I mean oh man lots of nice 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 upgrades like I mean look at these tires over here man holy smoke I think these tires is a MXT oh yeah it's a MXT and then hostile they're the ones who make those nubby tires for the Baja 5T before when the Baja has its glory days that they're all all Baja 5Bs, 5Ts and all that stuff with two-wheel two uh, drive in the back but now this this guy changed the whole thing but 
this is a four wheel drive gasoline but it changed it more i'm gonna surprise you guys later i'm gonna show you what's the guts the blood sorry <laughs> i'm gonna show you what's the guts and the meaty inside the beef of this vehicle for now we're just we're just enjoying the you know video we're just enjoying the video like how beautiful it is and how you admire the way that it looks like i mean i mean it's really hard for me right now that i got this vehicle i mean thanks to my wife i mean oh my gosh i couldn't i couldn't even thank her so much i got this vehicle already i mean this is the epitome of all the vehicles this is like the lamborghini or the bugatti of all rcs it's like two thousand dollars stock but this one right now it's not two thousand dollars stock now i'm pretty much tell you that right now because it's upgraded and it's also converted all right we're gonna enjoy another side view of this vehicle okay so this is another side view of this vehicle i mean holy smoke i really love this vehicle i mean fifth scales man i mean low c is like the one of the best names brands they're they're good on uh, racing and upgrading especially their brand uh, their brand like the tlr team low c racing oh my gosh they've always been champions for all all all, all the time and buggies especially I mean they have also the low c5p of this one it's a four wheel drive but it's very rare i don't want to get that this one is pretty much awesome 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 it dwarfens the mojave the udr the super bahare oh man this guy is like the big one it's like the big daddy of them all it's like the big brother i mean it's like the rock versus comparing to uh, kevin hartley or something like that it's like the whole comparing to like a core or something like that well this is another view of the site that is low c 5t all right folks so this is the rear view of this vehicle i mean look at this if you buy this stock this is not gonna be here this is kind of like a fiberglass plastic or something it's really thick and then it has holes in it here too so in case you need to uh, turn it off or do anything anything on it and then there's like a grills over here just to seep the air inside cool down the motors there or whatever uh, needs to be cooled down on there i mean the rear is so awesome i mean the grills i mean this vehicle it's not very hard to take off like the super bahari in the udr because you don't have to remove like 20 or 12 screws on it and then it's just easy to remove it's just two pins can you believe that i'm gonna show you later on I mean, look at the rear oh, it's so wide it like it dwarfs my hobby table oh my gosh i mean look at this I couldn't even thank my wife enough more than enough that he accepted me to buy this mumbo jumbo all right folks i think this is gonna be the end of the movie sorry of the clip right now of our channel right now the show right now end of this episode no i'm just joking i know you like to see the insides of it i've been dying to see the insides again i mean i want to see this all the time inside every time i came from work and come home then look at the rcs that i have i'm like oh my gosh it gives me more 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 relaxation i mean less stress and all the stuff like look at what i have what have i done so far what have uh, we become in the rc channel uh, Pinoy rc freak uh, uh, in the last couple of years i mean i guess it started with a stupid oh sorry <laughs> i mean started with a helicopter can you believe that those 20 dollar helicopters in the mall they're selling helicopters inside the mall in the hallways that's where it start started and then this is my biggest investment on rc's right now i mean it's getting too ridiculous now i mean i mean it's gonna stop somehow but i hope this is gonna be the last one but the rc world keeps on getting better and better and better i mean i don't have a lot of new stuff but for me i just want to like absorb things you know and get the ones that i really like because one day my little one is gonna start driving the trucks now and then i hope that he's gonna be uh, you know interested in all those things but if he's not oh well time to sell it i mean all the peoples out there just you know hang on because i'm gonna be selling a bunch of awesome rcs in half price if my son is not interested on playing rcs at all who knows maybe he might be interested in I don't know sports or anything like that well okay guys i'm gonna show you what's the inside of this vehicle so if you remove this vehicle it's not like the udr or the super bahari there's only two pins in the bottom here two pins in the bottom actually it's this one right now see 
I just put locks in there right now. It used to be like this. There, it was like that. Pretty awesome, eh? It looks like it's locked, but it's not. All you need to just remove the pin there. There you go, and it's hooked up this side and also the other side over there. So you just remove those two pins, and then you pull this thing in the front of the hood. Lift it up, and then there's two hooks over here. Big hooks right there. That one, and this one. So you just pull it off. Nice and slowly. There you go, see? Now it's pulled off. Now, here comes the meat of this vehicle. I mean, the body's really awesome already. I mean, here comes the real beefy stuff. Oh my god. Cabalamo! Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this beauty over here. Look, look, look. Sorry, I'm get I get so excited when I look at this. Unbelievable engines and motors and all that stuff. Okay, here's the breakdown of this vehicle. This vehicle is a weighted uh the springs are weighted um I don't know. It's really it's really strong springs. It's really hard, hard weighted oil inside of it. And it's uh adjustable too, see? You can adjust it whatever you want, stiff or soft or anything like that. But right now it's in the middle, so it's kinda soft because I wanna see like uh, wobbly and all that stuff, how the springs work and all that stuff. I mean look at those A arms. So beefy. Look at the housing. Oh man, look at the wires of the lights. I didn't connect the lights because I don't run at night. Oh, well, I'll tell you about this guy soon. This is another EC. Alright, so look at these the links. I mean look at the the what do you call that? Uh, the, the, I forgot what the roller bars. It's so thick. And also the sway bars over there. Yeah, that's the right word, sway bars. And look at the dog bones. Oh my gosh, that's so thick. I don't know how many thickness is that. Well, here's the housing of the steering. It's got uh, S90, uh, low C, uh, just a factory thing. It's still pretty good because it's a fifth scale vehicle. And this is a uh, a servo for the motor the gasoline motor in a carburetor it's a, I think it's a 36 cc on this vehicle I still have it because the owner who sells this vehicle for me gave me the motor and also the tank if I want to convert it into the gasoline again but who cares nobody's gonna go convert it into gasoline I still got three gasoline vehicles right now and I, and I, I don't even barely use it now I mean the nitro now is gone it's dead I mean the gasoline is still around because you can still uh, turn it on all the time but this is a gasoline, but look at this. It is a brushless system right now. It costs so much to buy the motor, the ECs, and also the pinion, the spur, the motor mount, and especially this mumbo jumbo, big cannibal motor. Where's my Canada that I can? Look at how big it is. What the heck? It's almost the same size of the can. This is a 780 kV motor from Spectrum. I didn't have a Spectrum already because I don't have those telemetry and all the stuff, junky mumbo, junk, mumbo jumbo stuff. I just like the motor because this is kind of like the biggest motor right now out there for 780 kV kilovolts of motor. And this is a 200 amp ESC. This is one of the best ESCs right now. I mean, I just programmed it. I mean, I have this on my X Max, and my X Max is a beast. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Because that thing is really, really awesome. I mean, I love that vehicle so much. And then because of its ESC, upgraded ESC. But now I have this ESC on this one, and then it's new. I got the IC5 connectors over there, just to less the resistance of the energy of the battery, so if there's no, um, you know, grabbing energy on each other or anything like that. This will run on 8,500 mAh, a 100C burst, uh, uh, what do you call that a spectrum battery it's one of the best I know I even have a fan here just to cool down the motor itself oh shit it's dripping oh what the heck kind of dry dripping oh no it's just shiny all right guys I hope you like this video I mean I can't wait to let see you guys run this vehicle again rip it all apart rip the you know pavement or rip the the grass or anything like that I mean look at these tires on here it's so beautiful it makes me cry sorry guys i'm just so excited about my rcs i mean you never have fun in life i mean 
this is my hobby right anybody have other hobbies like i mean what the heck collecting shoes or or collecting action figures i mean i used to do that oh shoot talking about action figures we got the biggest deadpool 2 it's like a 36 inches deadpool it's like the same height as my son uh people some people saw my uh uh, channel here that uh, I have those uh, 18 inches uh, NECA building uh, NECA action figures I have the Ash X-Force Deadpool and also the regular classic Deadpool we got the the red classic Deadpool but it's so big it's like 36 inches it's like almost three times as the 18 inches that we have it's also made by NECA and it's so special because it's it's the number six out of 350 ever made we are so lucky that my friend in uh, EV Games or the called Game Stuff right now sold it for four hundred dollars. I mean, that thing cost like seven hundred dollars, but we got it for four hundred dollars because you know, if you got friends, you get connections. You know, you gotta be nice to each other. I mean, you know, be kind to somebody. You never know. One day they'll pay you. They'll pay you off with like you know kindness too, and then you're gonna have a, a heck of a deal. Well, hopefully you like this video, guys, and. Hopefully that um, you have a good New Year's coming soon, especially this Omicron virus is coming out again. Hopefully it's not as serious as the other ones. But let's put the body one more time. So there you go. All right, guys. So there you go. There is the low C5 T. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I think it's a little bit longer than it used to be. I only do like five minutes or six minutes, seven minutes radio. But we got a very, very, very something special. It's very, very special RC right now. I mean, I love this RC so much. Um, the owner of this one uh, converted everything into uh, electric and then he kind of want to go on the downside now. But it's hard to resist to get this vehicle. I mean, well, hopefully you have a good new year and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and, you know, God bless and hopefully you stay tuned. Hit like or subscribe or comment or I don't know, say whatever you want. Tell me that this video is ugly. That's okay. I'll be happy because at least you're commenting and then you like my video. You That means you commented. That means you like, you like uh, dislike or dislike. It's, it's a good thing to me. It's a big thing for me. Hopefully you like it. Okay. All right, guys. Pinoy RC Freak out.